हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इन साइड फिजिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वाई द अर्थ बिहेव्स लाइक ए मैग्नेट यू नो द मैग्नेट ए बार मैग्नेट विच शोस मैग्नेटिज्म हैज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अराउंड इट सिमिलरली आवर अर्थ हैज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अराउंड इट सो वॉट इज द रीजन जनरली द मैग्नेटिज्म is attributed to the current of charged particles whenever there are circulating currents the magnetism is produced and the current is obviously having a magnetic field around it that and all we discussed in the previous videos now here earth has a magnetic field around it and this is considered as the earth the earth magnetic field varies from place to place and uh, this field will be around 10 to the power of minus 5 tesla so the magnetic field intensity or magnetic induction on anywhere on the earth is on an average it is 10 to the power of minus 5 tesla where tesla is the unit for magnetic induction now our question is why the earth behaves like a magnet does it have any magnet inside if it is if it is having a magnet inside who put the biggest magnet inside the earth nobody so in the previous days everybody thought earth might have been having a magnet inside but it is not true and the answer it with its simplicity the answer was not at all correct so here the reason for magnetic field and the magnetism around the earth is a convective movement of the metallic fluids or the molten metals inside the earth crust you know inside the earth crust the temperatures are so high the metals like iron and nickel metals like iron and nickel will be melting to form molten metals and they are also called metallic fluids metallic fluids so in this way the metallic fluids having the convective movement convective movement means because of the temperature differences inside the earth these fluids the molten metals will be moving continuously from a temp regions between they, where there is a temperature difference so if you consider low temperature and low dense fluid it will be moving up in the region it, it applies to fluids and gases also a low dense and a, a low temperature uh, fluid will be going up and a, a cool and high dense fluid will be sinking down so resulting the movements the in the fluid because of the temperature differences the movement of fluid produces the currents currents means the flow of fluids currents of fluids okay so these currents are called convective motion of metallic fluids inside the earth so the temperature difference means if you observe see a low dense fluid with its high temperature and a cool and high dense fluid compare these two okay a warmer it means that means at some higher temperature and it is having a low density if that kind of fluid is there and they are come inside the earth and it will move upwards because of its low density so if anything that is low in temperature and it is dense fluid it will come it may be sinking in the 
fluid flow so these flow of di between different different regions are called convective movements so this is the reason convective movements of metallic fluids is the reason and uh, they obviously produce the circulating currents which is the origin of magnetism even in some materials which behaves like magnets the spin of electron the electron spin and its circulation in its own orbit will be the origin of magnetism in the same way the earth is supposed to behave like a magnet and it is having the magnetic field around it because of this reason we now see what are the details of this magnetic field you consider this north pole geographic north and uh, geographic south this is the axis of this is the geographic axis on which it uh, the earth rotates so if you observe this this is the magnetic axis so this magnetic axis so where the north pole magnetic north pole and the magnetic south pole here we can write this as south magnetic just we consider this as magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole and here if you observe the north pole is making this axis magnetic axis is making an angle with the this axis so what is that angle between magnetic axis and uh, the geographic axis axis of rotation of the earth so here the earth is also considered as a dipole because of two poles so here the dipole axis and the axis of rotation are both making an angle of 11.3 11.3 degrees so it is slightly tilted like this it is not exactly coinciding the magnetic north pole is not coinciding with the geographic north pole and here the magnetic south pole is not coinciding with the geographic south pole so here if you observe that the magnetic equator and geographic equator can be written in this way if you take the earth in this form and this is the axis of rotation this may be the geographic equator and if you have this dipole axis and this the dipole axis having a small tilt that is it is making some angle with the axis of rotation so this is geographic equator and this which is slightly tilted the dipole axis the magnetic axis is di tilted and this is called magnetic equator okay so in this way we can show that the geographic equator is exactly at the middle of the earth and uh, the magnetic equator is making some angle it is like this so here we will see some more details and where it, the north pole magnetic north pole if you observe the magnetic lines are coming inside towards this north pole and they are actually coming out of this magnetic south pole so they are this is called magnetic north pole purely because this is the north side and this is called magnetic south pole purely because this is the southern side that is why they are called but actually the earth behaves as if this pole is a south pole of a bar magnet and this pole is considered as a north pole of a bar magnet that's why see whenever you take a bar magnet actually you observe that 
the north pole is generating the magnetic lines and the lines start from the north pole end at south pole again they will pass through south to north inside the magnet outside the magnet north to south inside the magnet south to north so this is the logic but here if you observe we call it as magnetic north pole and the mag the magnetic lines are coming into the north pole so this is not exactly the north pole which we understand by the magnetism this is just an magnetic pole which is on the northern side this is just like a magnetic south pole on the southern side so if you can place a bar magnet here see i will draw the earth like structure and here is the magnetic axis here is the rotational axis axis of rotation the earth can be shown as if it is having a big magnet and this magnetic north pole which i have written as nm here can be considered as a south pole of a bar magnet here north pole of a bar magnet so this pole is the southern side just we call it as magnetic south pole that's all but eventually if you take this and consider this the direction of magnetic lines now it is correct when you place a bar magnet in this way this is the correct way because the from the north pole the magnetic lines will be starting and uh, the magnetic lines will be converging towards the south pole so this diagram the magnetic lines will be making a reason when there is a bar magnet like this okay so where is exactly the magnetic north pole is located on the earth here this is this is the location so this is located at around 79.74 north latitude so latitude is 79.74 north okay and uh, what is the longitude 71.8 longitude is 71.8 west side so this one is on the northern side with the latitude latitude and uh, on the west side so this pole may be around somewhere in north canada okay what about the other pole so the other pole is obviously having a latitude of 79.74 south side the latitude is 79.74 south side and uh, longitude see what about the longitude it is around 108.22 east side it is 108.22 east side so this will be somewhere around antarctica so here the poles are exactly located on the earth as per their latitude and longitude okay this is about the earth's magnetism now if you are anybody asks you a question how why the earth behaves like a magnet because of the circulating currents by convective movement of the molten metals like iron and nickel inside the upper crust of the earth that is the reason and we will see some more interesting videos in the next session